Warning. What you are about to see and hear is for entertainment purposes only. The opinions expressed on the show are our opinions and do not reflect the views of BTW21 or its staff. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel and Chad. looking for someone real people are looking for something real just be real welcome to the be real the podcast be real the podcast i'm your host daniel lewis brother chad hudson hello yes we also have peckerhead up here always watching yeah yeah got a couple of good guests keeping an eye on us keeping them straight god he's really staring at me (laughs) what happened here turn him around you're looking at chad there that's a real stuffed chicken yeah i mean the waddles and the eyes are are real of course right. but the feet aren't real but yeah pecker heads it's, yeah, it's real feathers ain't it's it? real yeah. he's live anyway. with he's, so who he's we got daniel we have the springs of light camp this is in our backyard right there in patrick county virginia and we got chris and amanda with us good to meet y'all hey mate Hi. great yeah. to be here good yeah, to see you guys to be, yeah reached out uh, a couple months ago uh seen they had a lot of stuff going on they got summer camp we're gonna let them explain it and just all kinds of other stuff. And really, like you said, didn't know much about them. So wanted to bring them out here for people that didn't know and just uh, interrogate you, I guess, basically. Hey, That's, what we, do. Soft, That's what we do. Soft interrogation. Soft interrogation. <laughs> it's an intimate interrogation. <laughs> but if goes. you would, you got a – is the camera working over here for them? You got it right over there? Yeah. There you are. If you would, just introduce yourself to that camera right there. If you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. I'm Chris. I'm Amanda. And we are the Hugheses over at Springs of Life Camp. Nice. Missionaries to Patrick County, Virginia. Nice. So where are you from? So I'm originally from Richmond. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, there's a little bit more to that. Amanda's from Winston-Salem okay. area. Okay, oh, nice. meeting in the middle there, kind yeah, of. Yeah, that's right. Um, I grew up coming to Patrick Springs, to Springs of Life Camp when I was a kid. I uh, grew up in Richmond at uh, one of the churches that actually incorporated the camp back in the late 70s. Or really? Early 70s. Yeah. Really? Yeah, my mom was a camper when she was a kid there, even before that, as a Patrick Springs Bible Conference. Man. Um, yeah, my grandfather served as a director there for a couple summers in the 80s. Wow, so, yeah. so got some deep ties. Yeah, there. oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cool. It's a special place, that's for sure. Right. Is that where you met her? Is no, I actually place? hollered at her at the mall. <laughs> I Holla. <laughs> Holla. I actually never went to summer camp as a kid, so um, <laughs> my first uh, time at camp was as a grown adult when we moved up here yeah. to be missionaries. But well, that's yeah. cool. No, he, he, he ended up in Winston-Salem for college, and yeah. uh, that's... That's how we met. Forsyth Tech or? <laughs> Actually, I went to Piedmont Bible College. There. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I fought right. that urge. I started out at Appalachian Bible College back yeah. in the late 90s and mm-hmm. then ended up at Piedmont and finished things up there. Well, cool, so, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, neat. Yeah, so, totally. I mean, that's a. Uh, Tell us a little bit of background on uh, Springs of Life Camp, if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if, if you know it. I mean, oh, I'm sure yeah. you probably didn't. A little bit. I'm telling He's, you, we... Yeah. <laughs> he sounds like you should know it. <laughs> right. Right. Everyone in the family. Some, some people would get on here and it's like... Eh. <laughs> so is this is this a camp for, for out of... <clears throat> I didn't know what... It, I drove past it. I have an my old, whole life. My whole life. We, we drive down Spring 680. Road. 680, Spring yeah. Road. We drive down there. And is it is it a camp for out of county people or is it a camp for county people One how, would think. <laughs> how what, what well, happens there you just summed it up i mean in like the the mystery about springs of life camp there yeah. in the community so i'll tell you the history is rich we've got about yeah. 200 years worth of church history that goes wow. all the way back there to patrick springs back to the 1700s Good like Lord. all the way back when you start to look at the community history there you know patrick springs was actually shuff, yeah, um, shuff back yeah. in the day and some folks know a little bit about that history we're yeah. 
uh, right there. You may have heard of the terms. If you've been in the community all your life, you may have mm. heard of the Mile Straits. Mm -hmm. You may have heard of Hotel Hill. Yep. All of that comes from that culture back in the 17, 18, early 1900s. So that that's actually the site of the Mineral Springs Hotel and Resort uh, that huh. a lot of our grandparents actually still remember to this day. Yeah. Uh, some of the dances and stuff. We actually mm. got our hands on some old Enterprise uh, newspapers that actually had um, the articles in there about uh, publicizing some of the dances and stuff, yeah. bluegrass festivals that they were doing there at the dance hall and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so the history goes way back. Uh, let's just kind of pick things up uh, in uh, like mid fifties. The the building Sounds it was good. about five or six stories tall. It was a big, beautiful like plantation home back before it was a mineral spring, um, and actually even before that. I mean, early eighteen hundreds. It was actually one of the earliest all female Bible colleges below the Mason Dixon really? line. Mm -hmm. Crazy wow. history, just totally wow. yeah. lost and All forgotten kinds of by stuff. time. Yeah. yeah, so so picking it up, it was after it was actually in the early 50s, it was burnt down by a mysterious thunderstorm, uh, and there was a family in the community that actually had that property at the time. They rebuilt it and actually sold it to a pastor who had ties to actually Martinsville. Huh. Uh, he was a pastor. He and his family had vision to uh, just kind of develop some kind of ministry around Bible camping to bring yeah. families away from like the hustle and bustle of, you know, the things that are going on in everyday life. And uh, that family started the Patrick Springs Bible Conference. Yeah. Um, in those days, that guy had connections to, you know, early Bob Jones University, Liberty University. Oh, and wow. Yeah, some of those, some of those. And he had connections there and just really started to build a network out of churches that were really scattered up and down the East Coast. So pretty much it's always been a camp. It, for the most part, for yeah. For the most part. For the most part. Mm -hmm. it's, in it's, our generation. That's right. Yeah. right. And, like like I said, it was it was hotel the hotel dancing. It stuff was kinda. that part up until like the late forties, early fifties, okay. until it huh. burnt down it burn in down. that storm. I think the dates actually on those newspapers we've got is nineteen fifty one and fifty two. Oh wow! Um, saw some pictures. Seventy four years ago. Oh yeah, man, yeah, crazy. such a yeah. long time. Uh, but we're about about sixty plus years as a Bible camp now. Wow. Um, so the story there is things were going good with that guy, and by the time it got to the late sixties, early seventies, just the wear and tear on that family body and their dynamic and stuff. I mean, they were, you know, just praying about what's the next thing for us. This is just too much. Well, there was about 12 churches that were part of that group that saw the value in what was happening there in the, in the camping ministry. And they said, you know what, we don't want to let this thing disappear. We want to, you know, just own it, you know, take that over and see right. it go. Right. Uh, so those 12 churches incorporated what we know now as Springs of Life Camp. Mm. And that was in 1973, that September of 1973 is when we launched officially as Springs of Life Bible Camp. And huh. Just over the years from that time, I mean, there was upwards of 200 churches, uh, some from this community, some beyond the community uh, that were supporting and working together to keep it going. Uh, uh, we've got stories from the community. The folks remember just driving by and just seeing all sorts of activity that oh, were there yeah. at the camp. And, yeah. then, and then there were seasons where there was like, is that place really open? Looks right. like an old yeah. ghost we, town. I, like we talked about it. We drove past it every day of our lives. Yeah. And there are some seasons that... There was people everywhere, and there was, and then it kind of looked dimish at, at sure. times. Was, yeah. was that just rough periods? So or the working, finance, working, working, yeah, yeah. Well, rebuilding, rebuilding. stuff, and <laughs> there's a slide, and then that was gone. Well, and there's so actually still or something. six or seven old water slides up in the mountain. Come and get you one, really? Uh, yeah, come and get you one. <laughs> one of them, believe it or not, actually came from. Uh, get you one. Yeah, come, one, one of them uh, was from Myrtle Beach down at the pavilions. Really? Yeah, we had really? that relocated up there. We oh went wow! Through a season where it seemed like everything that we did revolved around the swimming pool up there on the yeah. hill. Yeah. Um, but the tragedy really I mean when you step back and just well look at the dynamic of even your own family you know mm. the generations well, before sure. you and behind you, I mean, you've got good relationships in that, and then you've got some, you know, wonky relationships within that in your yeah, neighborhoods and stuff true. like that. And, you know, of course, then then get a little bigger when you talk about dynamics in local churches. It's that same kind of thing. Not everybody's going to agree at the same time right, under right, the same right, roof. Right. Well, then when you start to put multiple churches together and multiple dynamics together, yeah, it was that's just... even harder. That's, that's exactly that's right. right. And just that's what you saw. So as the camp began to deteriorate, well, we've always kind of said that Springs of Life camp is a clear and physical representation of what really many local churches became. I mean, yeah. you pass gobs of them that look like, man, they're huge impacts that they've had in the past and, you know, just lots of room in there and you yeah. go inside, you know, it should be three or 400 people in. There's 
25, yep. you know, and that's yep. just the trends. And like I said, Springs of Life Camp was the same way. Wow. Uh, it looks great now. Yeah. I mean, I drove right, past so. and there was, yep. you guys are doing some work up on top of the main building there. And right. I, I don't know what that is. Well, so we'll fast forward a little bit by the late 90s. Early 2000s, yeah, uh, late 90s, early 2000s. Like I said, it was it was uh, it was a pumping. I mean, like 200 churches all at the same time, and again, just relational issues, you know, started to happen. Differences between you know different types of churches, different oh, traditions, yeah. and sad, you know, and of course, one thing led to another. It we just, all believe in Jesus Christ, but we have separation of belief. That's, That's true. Right. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, anyway, That's go right. ahead. That's That's right. my well, and the, and and just like a lot of things, it's those separations that the spotlight tends to get focused on and that's when the heat gets cranked up when you when you place your precedence on those things that's when you get the separation right and it hurts nothing but the children the camp the 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 mission well and and the Mm -hmm. reputation i mean we'll talk about that i wasn't sure if we were going to go there or not but let's do it man so we got into town so again 20 years had kind of gone by for me just out there living life you know it'd been that long since even thinking about patrick springs and patrick county springs alive we do we do we do we do uh, so we've got a parsonage and all that kind of yeah, stuff, nice, like a, yeah. like a church, and that's fairly recent. And then Lord willing, we'll get into that a little bit. But yeah, yeah. Um, we were actually, I was commuting back and forth from Winston Salem just to try to keep the oh, yard wow. mowed, and right. it, it showed up really quick that that is not a part time. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> a full time job. Not, not a part time. <laughs> and uh, grass mowing is big in no, Patrick County. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Yeah, we came from a third of an acre with like fifteen trees on it, you know, a push mower, and I was done. But buddy, anyways. but no, you got a whole hill. You got two heels oh, comes buddy. down to a, yeah. Well, praise the Lord. We got a lot of help that's helping us now too. Well, but thank God, but yeah. we got here and it had been whittled down. I mean, for me, it was the first time coming back in 20 years and it was like walking back into a ghost time, time mm. capsule. I mean, yeah. there were things and attractions. You talked about the water slide. I mean, I yeah. remembered as a kid, almost when every one of those things were installed and right. each year it was bigger and badder than the next. And yeah. then to see it was literally a shell of its former existence, right. you know, Started just slowly disappearing, oh, man. And deteriorating as you went by. I was that's, like, man, what is going on? Over that's there. exactly right. So, you know, all within that, we just kind of started asking questions in the community, like what in the world happened? You know, right. how could one, one, how could something like that, you know, as a kid coming in from hours away to this being the highlight of, I mean, my summers for my whole adolescence, you know, yeah. uh, to see like, this is the result of it. How did it happen? So as we started asking questions in the community, I guess the, the first real eye opener came from uh, somebody who was helping us or really doing inspections from the, the Department of Health from Virginia. Really? Um, yeah. And we just kind of started talking, you know, they were really hesitant to really get into this part uh, of, of that, you know, be real. Yeah, be real. <laughs> well, as Thank it tu- you. turns out, turns out the actual reputation that our, our ministry actually had in the Virginia Department of Health, they referred to the Springs of Life Camp as Camp Krusty. Um, really? So, and, yeah, oh, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. No, not good at all. <laughs> and uh, so... If you know anything about pop culture, you know, that's definitely not a good thing. Right. Um, So, you know, we saw that, I mean, right off the bat, you know, again, I'm not going to get into all the nitty gritty of why they called it there. It's just really rough. On the outside, you can imagine what it was like on the inside. Yeah. Uh, When we first moved up there, when it rained, we took literally every pot that was in the kitchen and caught water inside of the main building. We found uh, up to eight layers of roofs on top, like shingles and metal on top of, as it turns out, 100-year-old plus foundation of the place. Patch, 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 um, patch, patch, oh, patch. That's so exactly bad. what it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and just the idea there over the years is, you know, when something would, you know, like a door would come off the hinges during summer camp, we'd fix it temporary with the intent to come back and fix it permanently. Nobody came back to fix it permanently. Mm. And that's what we in, what we kind of inherited. The other reputation that we found out is going back to the, you know, the difference in the church dynamics and all that kind of oh, stuff. Yeah. You got different denominations and different versions oh, of the... Oh, Lord, just, ain't that the truth. Right? God forgive and, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually, we started talking to a local guy in town, a local business guy, and uh, he had some services and some things that we were going to need up there and uh, just talking to him. And uh, he was at, uh, at at one denomination and the church or the camp had largely been been ran and operated by one, a, a different denomination. Well, there was actually in the 90s, this guy had developed a really good relationship with the, uh, the missionary family that was there at the time to the point that they were working on building a Patrick County Youth Week of summer camp. Really? To, tie in and bring all the churches together for yeah. that thing and it would have been awesome well right. when it actually got to the board level you know the application process the paper trail you know mm. they saw that it was a different denomination and it threw up a flag and the response was man you guys are worshiping a different jesus than we are it's just not gonna work 
Right. So that's you, so sad. Mm-hmm. That, I find that a lot in Patchy County, just through my own experience, that it was. It's uh, you know, you can't hardly get, you can't get the Methodist or you can't get the Baptist or it, it don't matter who it is. The Pentecost holiness don't want to get with the Baptist. The Baptist don't want to get with the Methodist. Methodist, I mean, it's just like it's Jesus. That's what, that's exactly. Oh, who right. are we doing it for? Right. Are we doing it for ourselves and the beliefs that we have, or we should be doing it in God? That's right. That's right. And it's not just in. Patrick Same with County, the music. Though. Oh, it's not just yeah. in Patrick County, but you yeah. know, I live there and I've seen it, and I was just like, "Holy mackerel! Yeah. This is the most beautiful place. This is God's country, mm-hmm. and they're still tied in all this." Yeah. It's almost, it like Rep- it's almost like Republican Democrat. You know, it, it is, it's it in is. our backyard, so we're kind of um, um, immune to the beauty. Mm. But if you're driving from other cities and you don't have that type of lifestyle, that that's a beautiful place. It is beautiful. Takes your you breath, know? Yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah. It's stunning, especially that drive. I mean, it, that drive between Winston Salem and getting to Patrick oh, Springs, yeah. you know, through the Ayers right. Orchard, yeah. and just the oh, it's just beautiful. Several mountains. different ways to go through, but that's I love right. that yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Love the Ayers Orchard. Gorgeous. Yeah. Well, that incident right there, as it turned out, that spread like wildfire because that's another one of the beautiful, like good but not really good thing. News travels pretty quick in our community. Mm-hmm. It does. And Word of mouth. Good things and not good things. And, <laughs> yeah. and that single incident right there, we developed a culture of being called the cult on the hill. Really? Yep. Uh, the community, as you said, you saw people coming in and going out, and we really didn't right. add any kind of value to the community mm-hmm. whatsoever. Man. And, uh, and that's that. So you That's kind of wrong in a way because it's not even on a hill. You kind of go down <laughs> the hill. <and> <laughs> they don't even know it's what it's they're so talking so about. So they can't can't even what hill are you right? talking about? <laughs> they're in between Vise Mountain and over here on Spring, I mean, Mile Straight. That is not a hill. <laughs> My goodness, that's funny. So anyway, go ahead. That's funny Sorry. right there. Well, since then, in that amount of time, this was 2015 into 16, and, you know, just things were shaking and baking. And, again, just, you know, as you said, it's, it's, it's a matter of not just relationships, but but it's a matter of reputation. And in the church world, you hear the word testimony thrown out there. Yes. And, and back to your point, whose testimony are we talking about? Right. Are we talking about like your individual, that church, that denomination? Now, ultimately, at the end of the day, the purpose is the, the glorification of right. the, the God, Amen. the Father. Right. And, uh, you know, and like you said, when we kind of, well, let's just say that the Lord called us to have intentional, uncomfortable conversations. Yeah. And when we were able to present those two findings to, you know, the leadership at the time, it just, you know, we got two real responses. One's like, oh, no, they're out of their mind, you know, whatever. <laughs> no. You get, get your head out of the sand, you know, this is this is the reality right. of what's happening there. And there, in turn, because of those reputations and because of, you know, that culture that was kind of surrounding us, it really impaired us from being able to really do what we were supposed to do. Right. And from the beginning, our whole vision for the restoration of Springs of Life Camp was to to fix it up and to make it thrive again. But then the next phase, which we're getting ready to embark upon this, is to really turn it over to be an intentional fixture within the church of Patrick County. Well, I think it's important to note that, I mean, for so long we, we said that we were a safe place separated for kids to come and families to come and, and experience God. But right. we weren't a safe place. When we, when we got down into the nitty-gritty of it all and we started just pulling back the layers and finding how deteriorated the facilities actually were. It was completely unsafe. But praise the Lord that he had his hand on the process the whole time. And so, you know, when we're not in control, he's always in control. So, you know, I mean, he he did have it and he was keeping the buildings standing, but it was, that was it. it. (laughs) There was was no structural security there on those buildings. So Mm, We found as we were pulling back the layers, we found exposed to 20 electrical lines just dangling in the walls. Multiple times. I mean, just over and over and over. uh, Some of the guys that had just, again, really know how to do the work they're like there is no logical explanation as why this place is still standing wow but a fire trap waiting that's to it. happen. <laughs> but the answer that's is that's not it. <laughs> it's so much for the Lord's glory. Mm-hmm. We're restoring so much more than a dumpy old summer camp here. It's restoring people back into fellowship yes. with the church yes. and ultimately God Himself. Yeah. Well, I right. think when you when you get to see the whole picture of it, I mean, you realize that there is no way that we in ourselves or a group of people in themselves could have ever taken on this project. Right. I mean, it's all right. God. You know, I mean. We had we, a, there was so much rotten damage. I mean, water damage and and termite damage in the in the buildings mm. on the foundations of the buildings and stuff. That it's just, um, 
it's a Red Sea moment, you know. Right. You, you're not going to cross it on your own. Right. You got to have the God. hand of God. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, I hear so many people talk about is. Moses parting the Red Sea. I'm like, Moses didn't do that. No, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. He was he just, used. He was used. <laughs> he, was he was used. used, but he didn't part the Red Sea. That's good. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So, uh, Springs of Life. Now, from what I know of it, and this is the only thing I know of it, it was kind of like, and I've been to Hot Springs, Warm Springs. It was kind of a place to go. Uh, they had the springs where people would get in the actual mm-hmm. springs. Mm-hmm. But is that is that was that part of the history of Absolutely. it, or just because it was Patrick Springs or Shuff, then Patrick Springs because well, it's so much water beneath it? That's it. We're Springs of Life Camp, Patrick Springs on Spring Road, and it is absolutely the site of the Mineral Springs. From okay, that's back what I was then. wondering. Huh. Uh, we've got documents, uh, and even down at the Historical Society there in Patrick County, we're looking forward to spending some time when it when the grass isn't so needy right now. You know, uh, <laughs> next month. Yeah, we're, <laughs> getting, we're getting close. Uh, but to take a scanner down there, they've got gobs of information some really cool like original documents from I mean the, again the early 1800s that really? actually yes went around that mineral springs culture um, so all those places that you referenced there was a, a huge a significant historical care, uh, figure uh, Th- uh, Theodore Roosevelt mm-hmm. okay. um, and there's documents that reference it, him coming through the community to really? go to those springs oh well, wow the coolest things that I've read uh, um, well, Theodore that, Roosevelt's pretty cool well, that's that, right. for sure all right. I mean there's even I faintly remember mm-hmm. seeing something about Elvis Presley being book to come huh. be at the hotel and all that stuff. Oh, wow. Neat stuff. Yeah. Um, but one of the coolest things that uh, I read somewhere referenced the Algonquin Indian tribes huh. uh, coming to those springs right there and, and right there uh, to heal themselves after tribal warfare because wow. of the killing yeah, powers of those springs. Yeah. Um, so we have actually got, we have na- we now officially know where the site of the running spring actually was there on camp. We're working towards getting that reopened and loved on and all that kind of stuff. Really? really yeah, to tap into that power too. Oh. I mean, all joking aside, no kidding. I mean, being in yeah. Winston Salem and then relocating up there, uh, we're in a parsonage now. But at the beginning of the part of the story for us, we actually had to make a really tough decision, and we moved our family into the hotel rooms there uh, in the decomposing status now. Oh, Lord. Uh, but even mm. still, within that, the the water. I mean, the water that was there. I mean, our fing- fingernails started growing insanely quick. Hair started growing quicker really? and stuff like that. No huh. kidding. Uh, but it's real. That mineral spring power, yeah. or whatever. It's, it's ain't that something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God did that. Well, there's a lot of people that swear by it. Yep. You know, I'm, I'm not sure about the the Springs of Life camp, but, the, the, you know, up there, the warm, minerals. hot springs, mm-hmm. the mineral springs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people flock to those. Yeah, I mean, I've same. seen pictures of just people waiting. Yeah. Yeah. Just like it talks about in the Bible with the, you know, the pond that uh-huh. they would go in and an angel would come mm-hmm. down, you know, they would dip in the water and it would heal them. Yeah. And I just, I was like, what? Yeah. This is wild. But yeah. I well, mean, God I, uses water a lot in the Bible. He does. So, yeah. You know, well, He made got, it. That's, that's right. what me and Absolutely. my daughter just talked about that the other day. You know, she's getting a diet Pepsi, and I was like, you know, we got water at the house, and she's like, I like diet Pepsi. <laughs> Man made diet Pepsi. God made water. Yeah, so, yeah. Just go ahead and drink what you want. So. so one of the major things that we just talking about water and the power of it. You know, that the so all that water has to go somewhere, right? Yes. And we've got creeks running through the place. We've got you know where the water's starting to seep out and expose the 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 lines again i guess Mm -hmm. um so when you're passing the camp talking about the water slides where that pool is up on the hill Mm -hmm. as it turned out so somebody over the years had poured hydraulic cement into the drain of that swimming pool Mm -hmm. and we were like what's that all about yeah i guess it was to plug it up you know to keep the water from draining Mm -hmm. out we assumed it was leaking yeah Mm -hmm. while we had all the workers there they we were really empowered i mean we had guys there now again we both come from the financial industry world you know so i mean real man stuff is not my jam i can do computer computer stuff and whatever. And, yeah. You know, pull Amen. Some, yes, sir. <laughs> and mow the grass. Yeah, well, no, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He learns. He the, learns. I joke. I mean, I get on that mower, those lines, they just make sense. You know? But uh, but uh, as it turns out, when we had all these guys here, they, jumped, they said, you know what? Let's pop that hydraulic cement up and fix that, too, while we're fixing right. everything else. Wow, we're like, yeah, that's great. You guys know what you're talking about. Well, we popped it up. We got the jackhammers and all that stuff. And what we thought was to keep it from going out, it was actually to keep the water from backing Coming up. That's right. Wow. Really? And, yeah, so what we have now on our hands is probably flirting with another half a million dollar project mm-hmm. up there. Oh, wow. Uh, but the water has pushed its way. There's hollow spots all on the bottom of it. And, really? Yeah, we found the documents where that pool was dug in the, what, the early the 50s? 50s. Mm-hmm. And uh, they marketed it as an, like an olympic size swimming pool. It's 80-something thousand gallons. Wow. Down on the board. It's, cool. it's a behemoth, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, there again, that's another one of those features that we really like to get updated to, to see what the community wants to do with it. Yeah, you know? yeah that's great. Um, but anyways, the the power of water. 
I mean, the yeah. healing power, but also the damage, you That's know, right. that it can create right. when it doesn't have a way to I, go. I think, I think that over the years, like, we just didn't realize what it was, what it was for, like, what we were doing with it. And then so what had happened is they just started covering up the springs. And when the springs get covered up, I mean, it's going to take its place back. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what it's you done. It's stop. just, it's made away. Does the water That's cross right. the road underneath the road there? It, okay. Because I know there's a pond. Yes. Mm -hmm. On the other side of the road, but down the road a yeah. little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it crosses. It does. Right it crosses there. over and flows down. Mm -hmm. okay. Huh. It does. That Just pond's wondering. not, I mean, it's dried up now. Is it? But mm -hmm, the dam, it's been a while. Dam broke a few years back. Did it really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Man. Wow. Water damage. It'll Water take it. Damage. It'll just blow out a dam. Yeah. Well, it only, it only damages what man's created. There you, go. you know, water will make its way, but it only damages it, what we've tried to build in its and place, you know, it, yeah. cover it up or, you know, mm -hmm. something to kind of harness it. You can't harness this guy's right. power. You can't harness mm -hmm. it. You know, damage anything, road, natural. It would damage a house. Car, it would damage man-made stuff. Man-made stuff, it'll damage it. Yeah. Now, I guess it destroys mm -hmm. some of the Lord's work also, but it's just, uh, it's weird how much it will Not only affect. With this, within his parameters. Right. Yeah, right. Right. I've always loved the thing. It's uh, it's not nature's law. It's God's law that nature follows. I just That's always good. loved that. Yep, because it's true. Yeah. That's good. But anyway, a little bit more. Uh, Y'all come up. You will kind of took over, what year? 2017? So 15, yeah. 2015. So 15, okay. we were commuting back and forth. And uh, just a cool little thing. She was still working. And I was, you know, full-time at her job. And I was coming back and forth. I was blessed to be able to actually start full-time right. uh, September of 2015. Okay. Um, and then that's uh, that's the commuting piece of it. I actually had a uh, had a heart attack up there. Oh, Lord. Uh, at the age of 35. Man. And uh, that was the widow maker. Uh, oh, Lord. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but the Lord used that. And Praise tell you God. How. So Oof. in 2015, there was one week of camp, a cumulative about one week of camp, heart attack happened, social media caught word of it. Mm. And the next thing you know, people are reaching out, man, it's what's, what are you doing now? You know, praise the Lord, right. you're alive. Yeah. But what are you doing now? Spring's now, like, maker aorta. Oh, yeah, front, front left, left main. main. Front left yeah, main. Okay. Had a hundred percent blockage and long story short, I've got half a heart, you know, right. and still, wow. still right. mowing and all that, that stuff. Works. That works. That works. Right. Right. still got the whole right. heart. Only half of it right, works. Right, right. <laughs> Right, right. But anyways, the uh, the well, I actually had a second heart attack, and then recently had a pacemaker defibrillator installed. Man. So yeah, but that's it's a whole. That's, part yeah. of I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's yes. uh, it's but wow. all of that was that used. Is testimony. Right. Well, it, but used. all yep. of it was used. Yes. In 2016, we saw six weeks of summer camp. Wow. Uh, and we saw what 42 kids make first time professions of faith. So the year um, after, the year after, ready to rock. Yeah. So the heart attack Praise was God. in December, yeah. and then so the following summer. So, nice. But it, it but even like that tool, you know, that health thing or whatever. I mean, it, it is it has enabled us to be able to have conversations with people that we yeah. would not have been not able to right. in the past. So. I mean, it's like, you, you don't know. Like, you know, these yeah. people was just saying that they've had these medical issues and stuff like that. And they're, they're telling you, and you're like, well, I, I kind of do know. Yeah. I kind of do know. Y'all yeah. have never experienced anything like That's this. Right. I'm, I'm 55, 60 years old. I done had a couple heart attacks. Well, yeah. I, <laughs> yep. Hey, listen to this story, you know. That's what I love about the testimony. That's what really reaches people. I mean, sometimes you go through stuff you don't want to go through. It, well, you don't want to go through it. It's extremely scary, extreme, I mean, life-changing events. But then when you come out on the other side of it, you realize why you went through it. Absolutely. And it's like, I get to, I can talk to this person. You know, because we've met so many people in our rides and life and stuff like that. And it's like, you know, you don't know. Y'all are real young. Mm -hmm. Y'all are young. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. It's like, hey, no. <laughs> Believe us. Right. Uh, well, you might be working on half a heart. But what I've known of you just in the half hour that I've seen you, you got a big heart. Right. We're going to keep this back in yeah. about five minutes. So we'll, we'll be take back. A break. If you get a chance, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. And we're back. Thank you for joining us here on Be Real, the podcast. Like we said, or you just seen it, subscribe if you would. It don't matter, but it does help us with the algorithm. Not trying to make a dollar off of it. Just trying to get more people to watch the show. Do we and make a dollar off of it? Not made a oh. single dollar off of it, actually. Darn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got some free water. Thank you, BTW21, <laughs> for the water every week. Yeah. Woo. So. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Grace. That's one good thing. Yeah, thank you, Grace. Thank you, Chad Hall. Thank you all, everybody that supports the, the water in the refrigerator. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. But then if you subscribe. It's not ours. We it's steal not ours. it. We steal the water. <laughs> Is this mine? I need to bring some home from 
from my home, from my house. I got the best water. Well, we always, no, I think we, I got the Patrick best County's got the best water. And uh, speaking of water, springs of life, water. I love it. So we got Chris well, that was and Amanda here. Right yeah. yeah. Hey. He didn't even practice that. That was no. just we're still, spot. We're still, <laughs> <laughs> we're still here with Chris and Amanda. Uh, if you haven't watched the first half, please click, go back, scroll you back. You can do that. Yeah. You can just Thank that you for line. YouTube. You can watch it when you want to. You can listen when you want to. It's always available. And that's why I ask people if they would just hit that subscribe button that it will uh, let others know about it and share it. And so it's great. Yeah, we'll put it on Batch County News, try to share it as much as we can, get the people out there to know more about Springs of Life. We pass this all the time. Like Chad said, 680, that's the way I've always known it. And then a few years back, they named it Spring Road. And, of course, I've had older folks they out there. They did that to all the roads. <clears throat> yeah, they named all the roads. When I first moved to Patrick County, they were all numbers. Yeah. So I memorized all mm -hmm. the numbers yes. as fast as I could. Right. So I knew where I was. Yeah. Same. Then they changed them all. Then uh -oh. they changed them. I went from 653 to Santa Claus yeah. Lane. Six, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Santa Claus Lane. <laughs> Old Santa Claus, yeah. I mean, it could be Elf Lane. Yeah. It, it, was yeah. worse. it was bad enough. Santa Claus was cool, elf. man. He's out there waving all the time. I, I thoroughly enjoyed when they named that Santa Claus Lane yeah. because we always called it Santa Claus. because yeah. you don't live on I don't live on Santa uh -huh. Claus Lane, but uh, I'm, explaining I'm halfway. to the bank. <laughs> Leave me alone. Where do you live? Santa Claus Santa Lane? Claus Lane. <laughs> Patrick Springs. No, that's Stewart. No, that's... Oh, that's uh, another thing yeah, they do. No, no, no. No, yeah. I'm in Stewart. I'm in Kreitz. Uh, I'm in Patrick, <laughs> Patrick Springs. Springs. It, it's just you got the phone number for Collinsville. <laughs> yep. Yep. Anyhow, so I do want to real quick. I've been down in the weather uh, the last three days. I I don't know what I had. Uh, it came over me. Uh, my joints were all swollen. Katie said it. My wife said it was Lyme's disease or something. Uh, oh yeah. But I I, I brought that up because I just want to thank her for taking care of my family while I was out. Uh, I was on the couch. I slept day in and day out for the last three days, and she kept everybody going, and I just wanted to shout out. Great mama. Thank you. Yeah. She is. Shout out to Katie. Anyways. And we got the Katie tree right That's there in honor of her. We, yeah. we got six babies at the house. I have a total of eight kids. Uh, two of them are already grown up, uh, have children of their own, actually. Yeah. I'm grandpa. a grandpa. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> but she did take care of uh, the kids while I was down, and there's school, there's sports there's food there you know bathing and Absolutely. it's a job six of them and it's usually Oof. a two-person job but yeah. she took it all on herself and right. took care of my baby butt too daddy was so. down there with <laughs> baby butt <laughs> i was about to say something else yeah. but i see i see in the corner of my eye i seen your three lovely ladies over there yeah and i wanted to be respectful but yeah she right. really took i just okay so now what we cooking. got? We added some stuff to the table. We got a flag here. We something. got a flag. I love it. Established 1973. You just talked about that. Yeah, Tell that's us. right. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, this is the flag, but just kind of want to talk a little bit about like how the things have gotten done there at camp. Yes. We were talking at the first half about their you know reputation and all of that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And and uh, and with the power of, well, like we're, we're saying with the power of our subscribers on YouTube and social media and all that kind of stuff, uh, I'm going to tell you that the kids I represent, we represent kids like literally multitudes of families over the last 60 years of people that have come awesome. in and out of Patrick Springs at the camp there. Right. And uh, just really tapping into the power of that, the power of the community of those people, is we've seen just in the last four years, we've seen about a million dollars worth of work done to Springs of Life Camp. Wow. And it is no loans. I mean, just a movement and rhythm of the church, Capital wow. City, working yeah. together different parts and stuff. That's and, awesome. Uh, we work with the uh, Patrick County Ministerial Association. Yeah. That's leadership from really, I mean, all of the churches in our community. Yep. Um, and just like, I mean, everything else, not every one of them is represented. And so there's a, there's a plug there. If you are a part of a church in Patrick County, Virginia, and you guys aren't familiar with the Ministerial Association, yeah. reach out to us at Springs of Life Camp. We would love to get you plugged in yeah. uh, to that community. Of, so uh, you're a part of that? We are. Well, we I know actually, Jim Churchwell, and I know oh, yeah. uh, oh, yeah. High Point Baptist Church. Uh, yeah, that's uh, Wayne, Wayne Moore. Wayne Moore, Wayne yeah, Moore yeah, 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 yeah. Tommy Shepard. Yeah, Tommy uh, Shepard, yeah. yeah, yeah. Chris Foley's popped in and out from right. time to time and I like stuff. Chris. Yeah, I went to school with Chris. Uh, did He's you really? Well, well, he was born right there on Springs. He was. Miles straight right there. He was. 
was. Yeah, he yeah. was. I think he's got some family property on the back side yeah. of ours. Okay, um, cool. So, yeah. So, uh, great dude. Great dude. Great dude. <laughs> I just thought about that He's deer story. All his business, right? I really am. That's all right. His social <laughs> security number is. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you know him, you've already got it. So. <laughs> but, anyways, but no, actually, Chris was actually the one that introduced us to the Ministerial right. Association. Really? And yeah, from there, one thing led to another. He and I actually served as president and vice president of that nice. association for a yeah. while. Yeah. Oh, well, he's and, a great uh, dude. Yeah, he he's is. all right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> love him. See, man. I was going to say that too, but. I- <laughs> Oh, he knows. Uh, he does. But anyways, but yeah, but that, I mean, I mean, there again, you've got lots of different varieties of the church that's already working together. Yes. Um, and this is awesome. really the next season. And as we communicated with those guys, you know, we are re- we are beyond ready uh, to have presence from churches in our community in Patrick County to be on the leadership role yeah. there at Springs of Life Camp to make sure that I mean to really secure our role as. Our community is fixed. You're right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, but anyways, all within that, I'll tell you. Explain the the coffee here uh, for just a second. Yeah. Uh, like I said, we yeah. So this we've got coffee? a couple different varieties. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a coffee so, junkie. Are you really oh, fantastic? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm glad we brought it. I might leave a bag or two for yeah. you guys. Hey, we'll I'll, wait, I'll pay for it. Uh, well, even <laughs> better. Uh, so so I'll tell you, it was uh, 2017. We've got a chapel building, and underneath of that chapel, we've got a little game room. I remember it like it was yesterday, sitting on uh, sitting on a pool table. Not you're supposed. To do that, okay. Sitting on that. the pool table, just mm-hmm. talking to the Lord. You know, Lord, give us some kind of tool. <laughs> no, How, no pool table for the Lord. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> just no just, gamble. <laughs> no gamble. No gamble. Uh, just, uh, just how do we tell this story? And you know, I mean, we're the places that social media doesn't reach. I mean, because we, yeah. you know, I mean, you know, there's a lot of folks right. out there that just aren't on social media mm-hmm. still, and uh, just all that. And we were visiting another local church here in the community, and uh, just walked up to a random guy. If you haven't figured it out yet, I'd talk to that brick wall over there for an hour. If it, yeah, we've realized that. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's Thanks, great. <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, but anyways, they. Uh, so we walked in. I was talking to a guy who was by himself who ends up, uh, finds out what he did. He, uh, he was a craft coffee roaster. He was roasting coffee uh, for the old uh, Honduras coffee shop. Yeah. Um, and uh, just one thing led to another, just developed a really great relationship with this guy. And uh, we ended up just with our background uh, in banking and some other things. It just made sense. Coffee's one of those things that, what, four out of five family households use it, drink yeah, it, you know, whatever. Absolutely. And uh, so what we've actually got, what you got in front of you, Chad, uh, are a couple examples of Springs of Life Camp's Creekside Coffee. Uh, we talked Talked about the water there at camp, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so every kid that came to camp played in that creek. So it was just that, you know, just that tangible, you know. I remember it, you <laughs> know. Right. There's a picture of the camp on the front right. of it, and we have literally kids that that grew up and scattered literally all over the world. And wow. this is a way that folks are able to support the ministry that's happening there at the camp. Yeah. Wow. Um, proceeds from every bag of coffee has gone back into the restoration there at the camp. Nice. And more often than not, you know, we are. Just, I mean, it's folks that are like, hey, listen, I, I want to support the camp. Here's a bag of coffee, you know, right. or whatever. It also puts the power of, of, of being able to tell the story, puts this resource in people's hands that, you know, maybe churches that do or in communities that do support the camp beyond our community to be able to have this in their hand, to be able to say, somebody say, hey, what is that all about? Right. right. Gives them the opportunity to talk about the Lord's business. That is. You know, and it's what awesome. they're doing there. So I love it. It's been a phenomenal tool. It's been a phenomenal resource. Um, it's something that we, you know, we've shipped to several states. Uh, across the United States, it's really? gone all over the place. You got to get that water. It, well, that's yeah, right, instant right. and mix them right and sell it. Right, right. right. That's I love the it. Chad. I love where your mind's at, man. If this be real thing doesn't work out. We got a place for you over at camp. So, uh, and you got enough kids, man. We'll be we've got our oh, staff yeah. coming too. Oh, staff so. coming too. Right. We're hard workers. Pack it, ship it, seal it, ship it out. But what's even crazier than that is a few years ago we had some missionaries, retired missionaries, that was helping us hang doors in the hotel rooms down there, and we were just talking, you know, talking about the coffee. And they said, uh, "Do you have you heard about Blossom Creek uh, down in Honduras?" I'm like, "No, I have no idea what you're talking about. No. Tell me about it." Well, to make a long story short, there's a missionary family down there that was. Uh, traveling from community to community in Honduras, meeting with groups of pastors, doing discipleship training, you know, equipping them to be able to do different things in the church or whatever. And uh, and uh, he was uh, he was stateside, and somebody ended up giving them a 150 acre defunct coffee bean farm, organic wow. coffee bean farm. And there was wow. like one or two acres on it that was being worked. And anyways, long story short, when they acquired that, they very intentionally rolled that into their missions organization, huh. and and basically they have developed 
clubs, kind of like what we're doing there at camp. They are uh, building dorm places. They've got a training facility where they're rather than they're going town to town, they're bringing groups of pastors and them. that's exactly right. Wow. And they're basically where we were using the coffee beans at this level to help fund the work of ministry in our context. They're growing it and doing the same, same thing. thing. So it only wow. seemed natural to marry our ministries together. Yeah. Um, and that's what we've done. So we've developed this white bag here, a new label, Creek Life Coffee Company. That, that's Blossom Creek and Springs of Life Camp. Uh, Creek Life yeah. Coffee. Yeah. And uh, into a new nonprofit. And the whole vision for that, man, is to help fund ministries literally all over the, the world through the power of coffee networking. Wow. So uh, we've got, you know, yeah. we've got different ministries that we have been able to develop custom labels for them. And they're huh. doing the same thing for their fundraisers. If there's a youth group that's going on a missions trip uh, or a church project or something, you know, again, that's something that... Label that. It is. That's yes. exactly That's wild, right. man. Yeah. That's cool. Um, so thank you for bringing that out here. Yeah. yeah but so everybody I, would know about it. Now, before we go any further, sure. I know you got a lot more to talk about, but I don't want to forget this, is where can they... What website? What's the website? Yeah. Where they can order it? Or That's great. Yeah. So it's linked right off at springsalifecamp.org. <laughs> okay. Uh, we've got some social media presence in both of those areas is and all that right. too but everything can be found right from springs of life camps website yeah. springs of life camp site and so you got a facebook of course that's we how do. we contacted we've you got facebook we've got uh youtube stuff we flirted. okay youtube yeah, yeah we do we've cool. got we've and that's been a huge part of what we've done just posting update videos we've got hours right. and hours and hours nice. of yeah videos that we've posted just to really engage we'll people. put a link to that on the bottom so if y'all want to Look down there, yeah. We'll have the link to it that. Will link be to there. the coffee, link yeah. to the website where you can order and everything. Awesome. So yeah, awesome. we'll do it, man. Right. Hopefully it'll be a little bit of reach. Yeah. Uh, every little bit helps. That's right. So that's major. Yeah, that's I love right. it. That's yeah. Right. That's and right. of course, if you just want to donate, it's one of the things I've always found out that you know, unfortunately, uh, we live in an area to where well, not area, but everywhere, um, they they put on like a, somebody has a medical issue. And they will put on a pinto bean supper, and you get all these people out mm -hmm. here. And then they have to have uh, music to come out, and so you get to enjoy music, and you well, get to eat. They don't have music. I'm not going. Uh, <laughs> just, I just, right? <laughs> if, yeah, I, I don't like those, so I'm not going. It, that that kind of bothers me, but I understand the reasoning for it. Uh, you know, it's hard to get people involved unless they're kind of getting something out of it. That's right. But if you're a Christian, I mean, I would say that you are supposed to really donate without receiving anything in return. And that's kind of the, I mean, I love our community. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, please, because they have a lot of spaghetti dinners and a lot of pinto bean suppers and everything. And they have these music groups that come out and donate their time. Thank you. You're doing everything for the Lord. Praise God. Mm -hmm. But just out of your heart, when you feel like you need to be, if you feel led to give, that's, right. that's where it comes from. You don't get anything in return. Actually, you do because it's God's blessings that you get in return of it. And so it just, uh, I just had to say that because it, it, it comes out from time to time. And I'm a little bit disturbed on it. I don't like getting anything in return because I know how much the Lord's blessed me. I'm sitting here. Mm -hmm. I'm well, breathing. I'm, I'm buying walking. these, and I want them in return. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, want I just rode here on a motorcycle. I am extremely blessed in my life. And, uh, you know, I, I believe the Lord leads us into that to where we can bless others. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we should do. But uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of people out there that just, uh, well, that ain't my type of music, so I'm not donating mm -hmm. to that. So but anyway. I don't even know where I was going with that, but I it think just, it's great. Well, it's okay. A, it's a great point, okay. absolutely. Right. But Thank the you. Lord does provide so that we can get to. <laughs> right. So, right. Thank you. right. So thankful so, for the coffee. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Thankful yeah, for the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> so thankful for the yeah. coffee. One of the other really cool things that's happening, and of course, again, we've got the ministerial association that's out there. But as you said, there is. It's not like just people at this table who are like, "Hey, man, we're the church. Let's get out of the building and be yes. an intentional community." Yes. Amen. So, what's actually happened? One conversation led to another, and now we've got something called the Patrick County Family Discipleship Cohort. Oh wow! Uh, it's basically a space, a virtual space, not so virtual, but it's a space where those people with that mindset are coming together from all different varieties of churches and even some folks that maybe have experienced some level of hurt in the past and yeah. they just will not set foot back into the door, but they have a relationship with the, yes, with with the, the Lord. Lord yeah. And uh, so Amen. anyways, yeah. Um, so one of the things that we just came off of, are you familiar with Dominion Valley Park at all? Yeah, a little bit. A little yeah. bit. I've reached uh, out to them to be on the show, but I haven't heard anything. Yeah. It's okay. Well, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Well, yeah. luckily we know Shout them well. yeah, Shout they're, out cool. Them. they're cool. Uh, we yeah. know them real well. Yeah. So we yeah. uh, we actually they actually reached out to us uh, nine, nine about, 
nice. about four years, three mm-hmm. or four years yeah, ago and said, hey, we heard about the restoration story there at the camp. The, one of the ways that we can help, wow. we do this gospel bluegrass thing yeah. a couple times a year or whatever. Yeah. They said, we need somebody to run concessions. So with her skill set here, uh, we were able to, we've been running concessions there really? for all of their events. Well, nice. most of their events yeah, over nice. there. And it's been really great financially, but really the big thing is with the relationships. Things. Right, right. And that's added to the whole, you know, with the reputations that we talked about in segment yeah. one. Yeah. Um, but anyways, one of the most recent really cool things that happened with the cohort there is we started, this was our third year, mm-hmm. uh, doing Manifest Patrick County. Um, and it is a big, free community event sponsored by really anybody who's willing to give, just like you were saying. Yeah. Um, you know, that came from, you know, churches doing love offerings, individuals with businesses who say, hey, man, this might be able to help. Mm-hmm. Even talking about bottled water, we were doing bottled water drives and stuff right. to put on a completely free event for the community over there. At, nice. uh, over there, We had a guy the first year was an evangelist, a singer uh, from down in Tennessee. We actually really, it was a platform for Patrick County High School Praise and Worship Team. Now, you yes. just had one last year. We did. Month. It was yeah. back in August. That's it. Yeah. August 17th. Yeah. That's right. We yeah, had a guy named Jordan St. Cyr. Yeah. yeah. And we saw 800 people. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's great. And we want to really, we really want to keep it as a free event. I yes. mean, really the whole kind of the whole idea behind it was you had to bring everybody together, but also give those kids over at the high school who are doing this really neat thing with the praise For and worship years. team. Yes. Right. To give them a platform and, you know, to be able to sing on maybe the same stage that, that, you know, yeah. well, Daily this, Vincent. that's right. <laughs> so Daily. we had last year, we had a guy that was on, you know, Caleb named Austin French, who's pretty popular out in the contemporary Christian circuit. Oh. And this year we had a guy named Austin St. Cyr, same Saint-Cyr. Jordan St. Cyr. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, Jordan. Uh, but anyways, uh, but anyways, like I said, some of these guys, just them in themselves are, are draw on it. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. So one of the really cool things that, uh, that one of the leaders of the, the high school praise team actually shared with us that first year, uh, they said, and again, it's the numbers or, or whatever, but so there was like five kids that were on the praise and worship team that first year. Huh. Uh, they did manifest the fir- that first year. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the following week, they, they did the interest call there at the school. Mm-hmm. You know, hey, if you're interested in joining the praise and worship team, these are the things that we're doing. Yeah. He said 100 kids showed up mm-hmm. for, really? yeah, for that for the wow. next one uh, to be a part so of that. So this is after so, hours, too. Correct. They can't really, you yeah. know, the school can't really have a right. praise right. and worship that's team. Right. So they, right. that's really a lot of dedication it there. Is. It and is. is Harvest Worship Center, they're kind of, or they, they, they they was behind that for a while. So I know they the had some of it. Yeah, go ahead. So they they had done a youth event similar to youth that event, okay, uh, yeah. in previous years. Right. Uh, but they, at the they high were, school gym, I believe. That's yeah. correct. That's yeah. and they're still. I think they came back a couple years ago and they they're starting to do that again. Okay. Cool. Um, but that is that's not the same. Not as the same the thing. Okay. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. I but the same thing, not the same thing. Not the same thing. Same goal. Same goal. I mean, just goal. the intention right. is to is to yeah. just Let the share the, the gospel. Yeah, share you the know, gospel. And Praise just God. to get into, the, I mean, because a lot of these children are coming out of homes where they don't hear the they no. don't hear that at home. Uh-uh. You uh-uh. know, and so it gives them an opportunity to go to a safe place and to get out of the house and, and experience a good time right. without getting into trouble with other people their and age, and other yeah, kids. There you yeah, go, and then just a really a wholesome experience altogether. Yeah. Yeah. So Dominion Valley Park, that was just like you said a couple of weeks ago. I seen the uh, signs out there for Manifest. Yeah. I was mm-hmm. like, what? It, what yeah. is that? that so was that. cool. Free food, free we were games. out of town. A free food, oh, really? Yeah. Free food. Oh, yeah. wow. Went through yeah. a couple hundred pizzas, uh, oh, really? almost a thousand hot dogs, I heard. Good, like great. That. Yeah. And again, all this, just a rhythm of the church of Patrick County. Yeah. So. Yeah. So uh, when I was messaging you, uh, you couldn't get together with us earlier because you're doing a summer camp. You want to talk a little bit more about what yeah. is what does that involve? Oh, man. And- so 2019 was the last time that we actually had campers there at camp. So okay. just by the end of 19, early 2020, we were starting to really pop into some of the work there at the camp. Gotcha. And then COVID happened. Yeah. So everybody's like, oh, man, COVID shut you down, you know, or whatever. But the reality is that COVID was specifically for us to put us in that posture That's to really right. self-assess, you know, what. Dig- Again. That's right. We and needed, that's we needed the time to shut down, but unfortunately, just given what we do, we run off a of camp income, and so we just had not ha- ever had the opportunity to shut down for any longer than an off season right, right. to actually do the work and have that have that done. But um, when COVID hit, boom, and shut the now whole world the down. You know, I don't God mean to right interrupt you, but uh, real quick, we 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 talked about earlier that we we travel around. We talked to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Some of the people we talked to aren't Christians. Right. There are other things um but what i love about christians and what i love about you two you had a heart attack and that pushed me to do this covid came 
and it dug us to do it. Right. So you take, right. Christians just take that, that what we appear as negatives and give them a little oomph to, to do something positive, man. Right. Opportunity. And that is that is beautiful. That's why I love all things, right. mm-hmm. all things for reason. Right. All things. So I don't mean to interrupt, but I just no, that's great. I, I witnessed that, and it was just that's beautiful. Yeah, it is. No, that's man, beautiful. That is all awesome. things for reason. And it's it's and there are people in churches that I mean, just the same kind of thing that you just described. I mean, they want to serve. Yeah. You yeah. just have to give them an opportunity that's right. to right. You know, mm-hmm. present the need. That was one of the things that came up right in the middle. You know, if we present, we are to present the need and let the Lord work through the people, yes. and He'll provide that. We were not. We are not. We are not. Not rich people. I mean, we praise the Lord for the community food pantries and all that. I mean, that's yeah. how we feed our family. Right. You know, we are supplemented with the things in our in the love in our yeah, community. We have in um, you know, so right. it was one of those kind of things. Like even when it came to the work and stuff. Like I said, I don't know how to do stuff, but next thing you know, we've got some a uh, phone call. Hey, I heard about this, and God gave me these these specific skills. And next yeah. thing you know, the roof got done. Let's do it. That's right. right. Started ripping well, we into stuff. Uh, we were definitely not qu- called to yeah. do the work. Uh, God just called us to be here to yeah. tell the story. Right. And so yeah. we're willing to tell the story. That's word, and, though. And he brings the work to us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's really been a beautiful thing. Just over the last five years being down, you know, yeah. we haven't had camp. But we haven't, our lights aren't turned off. Right. Everything's still running. We still have the income. And, yeah. and it's all because the Lord has provided Praise every God. step of the way. Praise the Lord. And just like being here with you guys today, he opens the doors mm-hmm. and makes yes. the path, makes it clear. This exactly. is the way that we need to go. And these are the guys yeah. that we've got lined up for you to talk to and That's tell awesome. my story yeah. right now. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So, awesome. But. Go ahead. Summer camp this last year, we approached this. We are about ready. So we re- opened up this year as a soft launch. We had two weeks of camp that we, we did out there just within our community of people without opening it up to the community. community. Right, 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 right. And um, so uh, we saw about, oh, man, about 150 to 180 folks, you know, wow. in and out throughout the summer. Good, though, yeah. huh? Oh, so good. To see so the good. kids running yeah. around yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. It was refreshing. It was fun. Play but guitar. And just, to, uh, Chad mentioned earlier, he saw us doing work on the, building at the top of the hill you didn't yeah. know what building it is yeah. that is our student dormitory okay. okay and so that is because we did the soft launch because we are not fully done with that restoration project so we were able to um, complete the top level and it was ready and open and that's where everyone stayed this summer and we still have the bottom level to continue the work on when that's completed we will have full max capacity on property nice. mm-hmm. great. which awesome. is 200 beds in that dormitory yeah. wow yeah. yeah so that's something that i mean again that's one of the major needs we talked about the swimming pool briefly in segment one yeah. uh we really want to get that restored in the right way bring mm-hmm. it all up to code and just wonderful a wonderful space for our community yeah uh and then with the dormitory we've got the downstairs of the dorm to finish up so mm-hmm. that that'll be I mean, it's a lot. I mean, but again, there are different folks who are like, man, I know how to do a little bit of drywall work. I'd be happy to come over, build a team from our church or guys I ride with. We've had a couple, you know, motorcycle ride benefit things um, coming down the line and stuff. So, um, but yeah, there's a ton of that kind of stuff. But, but yeah, this year we had that, we had soft launch and then next year we're looking at full grand reopening. Uh, And it might be all the best. Yeah, man. I want to drive past there and just see kids. Absolutely. Absolutely. Waving around, yes. When does that right. usually kick in? Is that after school, June? Well, the mm-hmm. fun thing is, is school is ending later and, right. and going in it earlier is. now. Yeah. So we're once upon a time in the heyday at Springs of Life Camp. It had 13 weeks of camp with oh, wow. 150 to 200 kids every one of those wow. weeks. And now we're about six weeks of a good six summer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of yeah. a good summer. So that'll start about mid-June, mid-June. run all the way through July, uh, and maybe a little bit into August. Into August. Oh, very um, cool. Yeah, we're excited to really start doing like some banquets, one night events, weekend retreats. We've actually got a couple ladies conferences that are coming down the line that'll be hosted right there. Oh, again. wow. Nice. All of that you'll be able to find on our website or mm-hmm. linked up either through, you know, again, our website or through social media. Well, additionally, cool. with yeah. the restoration is we have always predominantly been a summer youth camp. So we've always been we've never had heat we've yeah. never needed heat because it's always been a summer, summer place thing. um so with the restoration we decided that we wanted to be a year-round facility we wanted to be able to do the events and the retreats and all of that throughout the year so right. now all of our all of our buildings 
have the heat. The heat and everything. Mm -hmm. So they yeah. come and stay. Got so a place to insulated. It's nice. warm and cozy. Nice. Yeah. Cool. So we can do something year round. As long cool. as there's no snow on the ground, we should be able to do anything. Right. Something oh, he else. cuts grass. He can plow snow. That's right. <laughs> You can plow snow. <laughs> so anything else you want to talk about? I think we got the two-minute warning, but I just want to make sure that we covered everything. We got the coffee. We got the uh, summer camps over, but getting ready to kick it off big time. Soft opening this year, mm -hmm. big time opening next year. Uh, we'll have all your links at the bottom. Make sure, please, if you have anything coming up, you're talking about the women's conferences, send them to me. Yeah. I mm -hmm. run Patrick County News on Facebook. Got 15,000 people that are in there, over 15,000 awesome. now. And come so, back out. Yeah, yeah. and you know, come back out. When it gets out. closer, come back out. We'll yeah. talk some more. We'll definitely and, have yeah. you back out next year if, if you will. have us, if you had a good time, I hope. Fantastic. And, uh, yeah, so great. Yeah, the water we'll get the word fantastic water. here. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. No, it's free, so it's good. So thank you. Thanks for the better. water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, but yeah, I mean, other than that, anything else you want to uh, relay to the people? Yeah, uh, really. The only thing that I've really got to add is if you're a part of church, you're a part of a community or part of a, you know, a small group, part of a business, you know, in the community with, mm. you know, if there's anything that we can do to serve That's right. That's right. you or serve with you in right. some way, shape or form, That's be it there in the property, or maybe you've got some vision for something <laughs> crazy to do in the community. We want to be a part of that. Right. right. We want to be a part That's of that. That's awesome. That, that is. Awesome. You know, while we're missionaries that serve at Springs of Life Camp, the Lord called us to Patrick County right. to serve right. together. And there it is in our the backyard. That right there it is in our backyard. I know a lot of businesses already give to things, and I know a lot of people give to things. Uh, I've got several people in my life that give all kinds of things, but this this is right here in our backyard. Mm -hmm. This is serving the people in our backyard, our community, our kids, and I think that's a. a, a that's awesome. That's a major thing. We've had a lot of good groups come out here and talk about uh, we don't invite them out here and we don't sit there and push people to, hey, support these people or give money or whatever. Uh, but I'm saying it. If you got the time, and because time is most precious, is. please give. And if you got the money, please give. I mean, either either way, it helps. And uh, the kids knowing the gospel, that's the main thing. Exactly. Well, they, they might stray from it. Amen, I've done the same thing. But yeah. you always go back to where you've come from. Mm -hmm. And so I'm thankful for that. But thank you, Chris. Thank you. Man, thank you, Amanda. Thank, thank you very much. much. Great thank for you. having y'all out here oh, and destroying worry. our table. Is this table. a makeshift palm tree? tree? Yeah, it yeah. Is. I yeah, noticed it that. It is a little Looks 3D, little 3D uh, <laughs> thing my buddy made for me. I love it. So, but thank y'all again for thank coming out guys. here. Do you want to mention the, the girls or no? Or did they want to come out here and smile at the camera? No, they're, they're playing they're with cool. their Barbies. They're playing. They got, <laughs> they're cool. They got honeybees and dinosaurs, <laughs> no, man. Dinosaurs, that yeah. one says, I'm not playing with Barbies. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm playing with a T-Rex over here, Chad. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Thank y'all. Y'all be real and come on back. Come on back if you want to. <laughs>